Bodie, you know, we were talking with an investor earlier who said, look, it's both a very, this 3% level is both uh, very significant technically and also psychologically. Would you agree? Uh, it's an arbitrary psychological point, I think, yeah. Techn te technically, it's more significant, mm -hmm. uh, but it, it's, uh, it's not that significant from a macroeconomic perspective. Because if you uh, think about it, a couple of weeks ago, last week even, we were complaining that the flattening of the yield curve was raising a lot of concern about right. whether the growth can be sustained, whether we're close to a recession, yeah. where exactly in the uh, business cycle are we, have we already hit peak growth and all that stuff. And now that the yield curve is finally reacting, the long end have of the those, curve is reacting, and then people are saying, well, disappear. why is it sharpening so much? Is it steepening too much? <laughs> right. So uh, yeah, I think there is a little bit of technical there, but it's more psychological, like, oh, it's hitting 3%. I mean, uh, from a macro perspective, yes, I mean, this is not entirely a bad thing. No, not entirely, but you know, uh, we've been here before, right? We've been here yes. several times at this 3% yes. level. So is there any sense, uh, or you know, is there any evidence that, that this could be different, that if we do hit a above this level that we could see this accelerate? Uh, we, we, no, I mean, we have to see. That's the first thing we're watching. Like, if it's, is it sustainable? Because we've hit 3% before and then mm -hmm. we've come back Investors down. Investors have come in and right, bought. Right, right. The difference now is uh, the Fed has communicated a lot better and a lot more in recent times about its rate hike plans. That seems to be baked in better into investors' perceptions. Uh, also, uh, the dollar is reacting uh, this time. The, the correlation between the yield curve and the dollar has started coming back. And finally, you know, uh, because uh, trade uh, tensions subsided a little bit, geopolitical tensions subsided a little bit, investors are probably feeling a little bit more confident that the expansion has a little more room to yeah. run. Uh, policy is going to support them. So it's driving up the long end of the curve as expected. As